have you ever prayed to God as if he's Santa Claus? I have. Oh my gosh, have I prayed to God as if he's Santa Claus? Literally, I will go to him on my knees and say, I have been so good. I'm such a good little girl. Will you please give me my pony and my Barbie and blah, 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 blah. I'll give him that Santa Claus Christmas list, right? Instead of realizing he's my father, I approach him as if he's Santa Claus and I will tell him all the good things I have done and then ask for what I want. And a lot of the times when I'm asking for what I want, I'm wanting him to remove anything painful in my life or uncomfortable. Because isn't that what Santa Claus would do? Wouldn't he remove all that? But what if Heavenly Father is our father? What if he loves us? And what if he knows better than we do what's best for us? And what if we pray for strength and his help to overcome these trials and challenges? What if we just really pray, what do we need? What if we talk to him like he's our dad? What if we choose, choose to view him as someone who loves us and that he's not giving us these punishments or challenges because he's mad at us, but because he knows we're strong and he knows that we need experiences accessing his help and strength and we might need to spend some time with him. I had this one experience. And it's sort of silly. Like, I almost hate to share it. <laughs> I, I moved to a place that was really hot. Like, hot like Vegas. Like, hot. And I was from San Diego, where I could exercise all the time. I could go outside any time of the day and go walking on the beach. If you walked outside, it didn't kill you. But where I lived in the summer, it was 117 degrees. And it was so hot and I got kidney stones for the first time in my life because I wasn't hydrating enough. And I was just like, oh, it was awful. And I had this disorder so the kidney stones don't just go down. They go up and down, up and down in my cute little tubes between the kidneys and to go out. They just kept getting stuck. And it was so painful. It was so horrible. And I prayed and prayed and prayed that God would take away these kidney stones, right? Like all they have to do is pass. And most people can pass kidney stones. But, and I prayed. I prayed like I never prayed before. Please take away these stupid kidney stones, right? And then one day I was shooting, um, I was shooting a wedding. And I was praying for help to be able to do that. And then I was driving home and I'm like, Heavenly Father, why? Why do I have kidney stones? Like, why can't they pass? And this is the answer I got. And I don't often get these really quick responses, especially when I'm whining and complaining. But he literally, this is what I heard in my mind. I just wanted you to know you were loved. Kidney stones? If you haven't had kidney stones, I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. It is painful. The tubes that go from the kidneys to go out are lined with really soft material that does not want to be scratched with these salty kidney stones going through them. This is only made, these tubes are made for liquid, not made for rocks. So every time they cut them, it's just excruciatingly painful. It's so horrible. So when God, I prayed and said, why do I have this? And he goes, I wanted you to know you were loved. I was shocked. What do you mean you want me to know that I'm loved? And then I had one of those moments of introspective and of introspection. I had one of those moments where like, it's like totally like the light bulb goes off. And in my mind's eye, I could see all the people who had loved and served me. Like people coming up to me at church saying, I've been praying for you and your kidney stones. I have been praying for you. And I'm, and they would bring me food and meals. And like one of my neighbors who had, was pregnant and had all these children. And when I say pregnant, she was like eight and a half months pregnant. She brought me this wonderful meal, like steak and potatoes and all these wonderful things. And I realized in that moment I was loved. People in my neighborhood, all my friends were calling and checking on me and I had kidney stones. This isn't life threatening. It's just painful. Okay. Like you feel like you're going to die, but you're not going to, you're just going to have a lot of pain and I can't take a lot of pain meds. I have a lot of sensitivity to medications. So I am praying that God takes this away and God's hoping that I find out how loved I am by my neighbors and friends. Now, I would have preferred to be loved without having the kidney stones. Let's just be honest. But the kidney stones in my life helped me find out that I was loved by God. 
how many times, how many times would we pray away the things that help us come to know something so important, like that God loves us? In reality, I would pray away every challenge I have. But what if God is my father? What if he loves me? And what if he'll strengthen me through those trials and challenges? So fast forward, I get kidney stones again when I do live in Vegas. You'd think I would have learned. Um, I got them again. And this time I approached it differently. I sort of relaxed when I got it. I didn't like pray, 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 get it rid of it. What, but my prayers changed to what can I do? What can I do to make this, help this process? Because those kidney stones don't want to come out of me. And it's really hard. So I practiced relaxing. I did things to get my mind off of it. It was very painful. It was still just as painful. But I didn't give it as much attention. Still people came and helped serve me and love me. I wasn't as selfish. I wasn't as crazy when I had them the second time. And I think a lot of that had to do with my prayers were totally different. What do I need to do to help this pass through? What do I need to learn? What do I need to change? What what do I have control over? And I realized I did have control over how I responded to the kidney stones. I had control over how I treated others around me and I had major control over how I chose to talk to God. <sighs> Prayer is hard. It's work, but it's wonderful work because it helps us draw upon his power and his love in our life. And the more we know about him, the easier it is to pray. So as we study the scriptures to look for how others prayed or characteristics of God, the more we come to know him, the easier it is for us to pray, the easier it is for us to do that work and access his love in our lives. I testify he loves us. He is our father. He's not Santa Claus. And he hears our prayers and he wants to answer them. But how he answers them might be very different than what we want. Thank you for joining me in Morning Messages of Hope and Inspiration. My name is Jenny McBride. If you like these messages, would you please like, subscribe, and share it? Especially share it with someone who might need a little hope and inspiration in their lives. Love you. Have a great day.